Hi, and I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for spending some time with me in my living room, enjoying my fire and my favorite story of all time that I'm about to share with you. It's the story of the cracked pot. Now, this story uh, originates somewhere in Africa and it's about a woman who has to draw water from a nearby creek. She collects the water using two pots suspended from her shoulders by a pole. So she carries the water back to her home in these two pots. And one of the pots is perfect and immaculate and doesn't spill any water. It's always full when she gets home to share it with her family. The other pot, however, is flawed. And this pot spills water along the way and it sloshes and, and it creaks out through the cracks. And when she gets back to her family, the pot's only half full. And unfortunately, this pot is self-aware and knows that it's flawed, that it's cracked and damaged and just losing water and compares itself to his perfect counterpart. And it says things like, oh, if I were, if I were perfect like the other pot, I wouldn't lose any water and then the woman wouldn't have to work as hard and, and she wouldn't have to go to the, the creek as much or that I would be able to provide more water to the family if I you know, were just flawless and able to carry the water for her the way that my, my other pot does, my, my, my fellow pot. And the woman hears this pot criticizing itself and she stops him and says, Listen, you're perfect just the way you are, but in case you needed a reminder, let's look at everything, all, all the side effects of your, your leakage and everything that you've lost along the way. So on their way back to the creek the next day, her, the pots and the woman examine the trail and she points out that along the path where the, where the, the cracked pot is leaked, there is grass growing, there's a greenway, there's flowers blooming everywhere that the water has, has uh, touched the earth. So because of this leaky pot, all of the villagers now enjoy a, a flowered greenway to get to the, to the creek and back. And personally for me, that's been my whole life, is I'm beating myself up for everything that I'm not doing along the path and all the failures and all the ways that I've shown up imperfectly. And I forget all of the beautiful lessons that I've learned and the friendships that I've created and the, and the love that I've seen and had uh, in process of being a flawed human being. And it's made all the difference in the world and it's made the story so much fun for me to live. And if, if you're a crackpot like me, then I want you to take a moment and appreciate yourself the way that I appreciate us. Here's to you and here's to the next 37 years for us crackpots. Until next time.